Hi guys, I'm here at FSA Fest with Jess from Jess and the Bandits. Thanks for joining me for a chat. Thanks for Much having me. It. Looking yeah. forward to seeing your show later. Oh, thanks. Have you been looking forward to this one for a while? Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, we love doing this festival. Did it last year and looking forward to doing it again. It's great to see all these little platforms popping up for, for the UK acts, isn't it? For yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's, it's great. It gives all the artists in this country and beyond yeah. the opportunity to perform and get out there and it's great. It's great to be a part of it. What do you think of the way the genre's growing in the UK over the, over the last few years? Um, I love it. I, I think, especially as an American, where I'm really fortunate that I've got, you know, I was born into yeah. listening to country music, especially in Texas. So it's, it's really cool to see so many UK acts um, putting their own spin on country music and especially in terms of lyrics and things like that you know where it has that that UK feel so it's yeah. it's great. That time I saw you guys was at Buckland Boots and you had to follow Phil Vassar which was quite a difficult thing to do after he absolutely <laughs> smashed it but you guys were amazing as well so how was it to share a stage with someone like Phil Vassar who's such uh, a legend in the genre? Yeah I mean Phil is fantastic he's a great songwriter as well you know he's been in the industry a really long time so we were excited to um, to go on after him. I guess he opened yes. for us, didn't he? Yes. No. <laughs> no, but it, it was great to um, be able to share the stage with uh, such a legend in country music right now, so it's good. Tell me about how you guys met. Like, how does a girl from Texas meet up with a load of guys from England? Complete accident. I was driving down the road, and no. <laughs> um, I was on tour as a solo artist with um, a band and the bandits as we know them were touring with this man they were playing for them so we met became really good friends and it was time to um, for me to go out on tour and I decided to start doing country music again getting back to my roots and I wanted to work with a great band so I called them up asked them if they wanted to play with me and it's gone from there. yeah yeah decided to become a proper band about a year later and it's just been going ever since yeah. who've been your country influences over the years growing up well like i said in texas you're kind of born yeah. listening to country music so for me it was everyone from um tammy wanette loretta lynn um johnny cash uh dolly parton and then people like Lady Annabellum, um, lots of current artists, um, Carrie Underwood. Mm. I just, I, I love music. I love storytelling mm. in songs, but you know, not even just country music. There's artists like Adele and, um, you know, even Whitney Houston and people like that that have influenced me over the years that um, I think you can hear those influences in our music. And your most recent single, Kiss You Now, which I absolutely love. <laughs> what was the inspiration behind that song when it all came about? Well, you know, this one, um, I'm fortunate enough to have worked with some of the most amazing songwriters in Nashville. And uh, one of the writers, Jeff Cohen, who I've written with, um, a lot also produced several of the songs on the album. This is one that he sent over to me and said, you know, this I think you would love this song. Check it out. What do you think? Mm -hmm. And immediately loved it. I loved the demo and um, went ahead and said we'd love to record it. And so we did. Awesome. Yeah, so sometimes the songs are written by myself and other times they come from other great songwriters. Hmm. Are you already looking towards the next album, writing-wise? Oh yeah, we have already started, already started writing, um, doing a lot of writing here in the UK with some amazing writers here, and then of course going to be back in Nashville at the end of the year, writing, recording, and all that. How yeah. far down the line are you with writing a full album, do you think? Um, I think we're pretty, we're pretty far along. Um, for us, we don't want to rush anything mm. because it's the second album. First album did very well, yeah. so we know we've got to follow up, you know, and there's a lot of pressure on that. So the last thing we want to do is just rush something and put it out um, without knowing this is exactly what we want. So we're hoping early next year uh, that we'll have a new album for everyone. Nice. Yeah. And what's the plan for the rest of the year for you guys, shows-wise? 
Um, we have a few shows here and there uh, throughout the rest of the year, but for the most part, it's about locking ourselves yeah. away <laughs> in a studio, writing, really trying to focus on on the creative side of things. This is the last festival for you guys. This one, I think. Um, we've got, yeah, I think this is the last, one of the last festivals yeah. we're doing this year. So definitely yeah, going to focus on, yeah, definitely. Yeah. We're going to focus on uh, the creative side. Looking yeah. forward to that part. Brilliant. We look forward to seeing you tonight. Thank you for joining us. Thank Much you. appreciated. Thanks. Signing out from FSFS.